Hi there. In this video, I will show you how to actually fix a Crystal report that is using the Sub Business One connection driver into a connection driver that actually works with add ons and most especially the usability package in terms of the B1 printer delivery and the universal functions. So here I have Crystal reports that actually use the Sub Business One connection details. And you can see the connection details is the license server, the sub server, company database name, and so on. Um, it might sound a bit cliche that, that we have a product that is integrating into Sub Business One, which doesn't understand the Sub Business One driver. And you might you you could be correct, but uh, the main reason we have this issue is that this connection type is only used by SAP themselves. They have not provided any API that we can work against the, the, the driver and, and other uh, related instances is that even this, uh, there's not, not really a reason to have a specific sub business one version of this because it only slows things down instead of just having a normal SQL connection that is fast, reliable, and works all the time. So in this video, I will show you how to take an existing Crystal report and have it redirected to the correct connection types in order to actually work with usability packs and many other add-ons. So let's skip that we have this driver and go into our set data source location. Our data source location is uh, here, and as you can see, the connection type, the database type is sub business one. And this is what we want to change. So instead, we go in and create a new connection, and the most reliable is the OLE DB ADO, because that works with everything no matter if you have 2005, 2007, uh, SQL, or, or whatever. So let's make a new connection, and we recommend using the Microsoft OLE ADB SQL. That is the native client. In reality, it should be a little faster, but if you have 2008 as I have, which is version 10, and your customer only have version 9, then you will again have some connection issues. So Use the Microsoft OLADB provider for SQL Server. Provide your credentials. And choose your database. So now we have a new connection. And we go in here and say we want to update to that type of connection. We will now instead have OLADB and the correct connection data. Similar down here, we need to tell our system that we find our table OINV, and it needs to go against that. So we pair them up and say update, and we get that updated as well. So if we now close this, save it, go to our sub business one and we use that test report we will see that is very very quick compared to the sub business one which would have taken two three seconds instead of being instant so there's a lot of benefits to using the system with uh, the normal old adb instead of going with the own this SAP version. So thank you for the session and uh, looking forward to the next one.